Welcome to this year's trap shooting competition. Today we will witness a fierce battle between two extraordinary players. First up is our ruthless shooter, Donnie. He is famous for his steady and accurate shooting style, and the audience cheers for him. Next up is our record 10 tenacity player, Ray. He is known for his tenacity and unyielding spirit. No matter how difficult it is, he will persevere to the end. Each player will shoot 10 times, and each time they hit a flying saucer, they will get one point. Who can win? Let us wait and see. The game officially begins, and the two players take turns shooting. Donnie focused on shooting, the flying saucer shattered in response, and the audience cheered. Donnie took the lead and in the first five shots, he led Ray by two points five to three. His calmness and precision are breathtaking, Ray was not to be outdone. His optimism and tenacity allowed him to gradually narrow the gap. Ray adjusted his breathing, shot steadily, and the flying saucer shattered. On the eighth shot, Donnie still led seven to six, but Ray did not give up. He kept adjusting and looking for opportunities. When it came to the last two shots, Donnie felt the pressure. He shot the last two times and the flying saucer didn't break. We came on, his eyes full of determination. He aimed, shot, and the saucer shattered. Ray would eventually win the game 8 to 7. This is sportsmanship. No matter you win or lose, you must persevere to the end and enjoy the process of the game. Let us applaud the wonderful performance of these two players. Hello everybody, my name is Ray. Welcome back to my channel, Race Happy Tech TV. So recently you guys should have seen the Olympics and I have seen the Olympics too. And my personal favorite was track shooting since it was so epic and I love epic stuff. And also I love guns. So I got inspired and I I ended up creating a crack shooting game. So I will just stop talking and show you what the game is like, okay? Maximize, okay. So you can shoot and then you have a score counter and then you need to shoot, the, shoot these discs. And then it's kind of hard <laughs> actually. Yeah, but there's one tiny problem. We could just spam here. We could just spam here. So if you can shoot the, the disc shooter, and then you can shoot it on it, and the disc will automatically touch it. So yeah, that's like cheating. If you just shoot a lot of those on it. So if you shoot a lot on it, you can get two at a time. I got 40 score right now. So, if you're wondering how I did it, now's the time, I will show you. Okay, so first I started off by making a cylinder, which is this, this boy. I'll just make him red to make him stand out a little bit. Yeah, and then I made the camera, which is just pretty quick fire. I stole the script I had from my main FPS game which I'm working on so yeah if it comes to, uh, if it if I upload it on Steam wishlist it okay deal okay so next I made a gun which is a sniper so this gun the script the script is basically really simple this script so this so it's really easy so it checks if you you you're pressing your mouse zero means left click and then one means left uh, right click and then two uh, two means uh, scroll yeah so if you do it it will clone a bullet and it will clone a muzzle flash and if you don't know what a muzzle flash is it's basically if you see a gun shooting a bullet at slow motion you can see like a little bit of fire going out from the tip of the gun so now if you shoot it the bullet won't move so the 
the bullet will also have a separate script that makes it go forward, which is really simple. It just adds force. Okay, and right now, if you're basically wondering what this circle means on the camera, it's a good time to ask since it's post-processing. It just makes things look a little bit nicer and it gives the sweet, sweet glow. And also, if you're wondering how I zoomed in the camera, it zoomed in, you just need to make the field of view higher, lower, I mean lower, yeah. So if you're higher, you will see more more things in, in one look. But if you're really close, you would zoom in a lot. So my FOV is 29, 29 by default. Not, not 29 by default for my game, you know, not really, yeah. So then I move on to the disc launcher since right now you don't have a gun. Uh, you have a gun, you can only shoot at basically nothing. And then so the disc launcher, this script basically does is it instantiate, it clones a disc at a certain rate. <clears throat> and then for the disc, it have a separate script. So it it have a RB to rid the body, so it makes it move full, uh, upwards. And then the, if you're wondering what X and Z is, it means like in like the disc in real life goes in the random direction. This help track the the range of the random direction. 80 is le the most left, negative 80 the most right. And then force is 10, so it go up 10, which is kind of slow. But yeah, I like it. And then the miss is like in the real event, if you shoot the disc, it will it will launch like a a mist, like a purple mist, mist mist that shows you it's been broken. Yeah. So now, once we have this, the game is pretty much complete. But there's no tracking score. So now I made some UI for the score, which is pretty simple. If you shoot the disc, your score goes up by one. And then the text is like one on your screen and one on the wall. So if you want to hide made the wall one, you just need to go to canvas, canvas, wait, canvas, and then change render mode to world space. Okay, and screen space is in your screen, okay? Got it? Nice. So now it's the finished game, and but also I I like Easter eggs, so I actually added one in my game. So it's this this little boy, this guy. Okay. So it has the animation. It has trail render, and once you play the animation, it's basically crazy. It basically makes like this kind of Pikachu. Electricity thing, I don't know what to call it, but the start is actually really epic, really cool, so cool. Oh my god, so sick! And look at the look at the position of it, it's like spinning deadly fast. I don't even think a roller coaster is that fast. So, to see this, you need to hack the game and and tag the game object. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Subscribe and like if you like this video. And if you didn't like this video, subscribe and like. And also you should definitely check on the Olympics, which is, as I already said, epic. So yeah, subscribe to my channel, Race Happy Tech TV. And then see you next time. Bye.